I know I said we'd never do it. I know. But welcome to luxury van life in Alaska. If you're not new here, you're confused, and we will get to that. If you are new here, hi, I'm Maria, that's Blue, and normally we are on a 50 state road trip, truck camping our way around the country in my antique military imported Land Rover Defender named Poe. Obviously, Poe is nowhere to be found right now. If you guys are up to date on videos, you have seen that we have just been running into constant issues with my Land Rover. Don't do this to me. And essentially, I got sick of it, and I thought, you know what? New year, new rig. <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys, you should know me better than that. Poe is just in the shop getting some work done to help us get through the winter in Alaska because we've been struggling up until this point. So I had two options. I could rent an Airbnb and wait for Poe to get out of the shop or two, I could spend way too much money and rent a luxury van. Finally see what van life is about. Obviously you can see which option I chose. I've been so busy today, I haven't even had time to really give myself a tour of the van. Obviously I went through it with the renter, but I haven't had a chance myself to go through everything. So I'm gonna set up for camp and then we're gonna check out this van, <laughs> okay? I'm shocked. No hate to vans, I love van lifers, and I love van life content, but I myself just have always pictured myself in like a four by four old school antique truck because I like to suffer. So being in a luxury van is insane. I may be changing my tune after this video, okay? I don't know, but this is crazy. This is an apartment. I thought Poe was an apartment. This is an apartment. Let's, oh, don't mind me. Let me just turn the heat on. 68, feels good, yeah, probably, okay. I know, Bubby. I just, I don't even know what to do. Okay, so here's a tour of my luxury van. Here's the front, the cockpit, if you will. Pretty standard. There's Blue's uh, captain's chair. What do we got up here? Coffee stuff. Honestly, I could use that right now. Jet boil stuff. Oh, bowls, strainer. Ooh. Cooking stuff. There's a functioning sink with a foot pedal. Look. How cool is that? There's storage underneath this little bench. We've got some stuff in there. The fridge is under here, as you guys saw. This part is so cool. It's a door to the under storage, which I have like my bag and there's a bunch of camping stuff in there. Oh, Bubby. <laughs> He's like, let me check it out. Bed, obviously. Towels, window covers are on that side. This is a house. This is a house. If you're a van lifer out there, you live in a house. That's cheating. This is not road life. This is an apartment. This is crazy. Like this is a house. This is a house. This is nuts. Kid, this is a house. Time to make dinner. Voila, taco salad. <laughs> I'm a chef these days, I know, I know. Do I need a van? Do I need a, do I need a van? Oh my gosh. Wow, well, I get it, van lifers, I get it. I totally get it now. Go ahead. Electric blankets on. Heck yeah. Oh. Good boy. Hey, no humping. Such room. Nighty night, pup. 
We're gonna take a minute to interrupt this episode to talk about today's sponsor. You guessed it, BetterHelp. I have been using BetterHelp pretty much this entire year as a customer. I paid for them out of pocket before they ever wanted to work with me. I really believe in the service. <laughs> <laughs> Their mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible. Everything is entirely online. It's flexible. It's convenient. It's everything you would want for therapy these days. It's also perfect for nomadic people like me. You just set your phone up, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, and video call your therapist. It's awesome. It's super easy to get matched up with a therapist too. You go online, you fill out a brief questionnaire, things about your preferences and what you want in a therapist. Like they typically can have you matched up in a couple of days. What's also nice too is if for some reason that therapist isn't your perfect fit, you just go on the app and you can request a new one and you can just keep doing that as many times as you need to for free until you find your perfect match. I just love that they do that. Like there's no confrontation. You just hit a button. New therapist if you need it. Like that's so easy. You can use this code right here for 10% off your first month if you're interested. I have said this time and time again and I truly mean it. Our world would be such a better place if everybody was in therapy. If everybody was learning how to handle their emotions better. Just imagine it, you know? Give BetterHelp a try, tell them I sent you. Okay. Morning. I genuinely have never slept like such an infant like I have the last two nights in this van. It's been wild. Oh, I know. Good morning, Paparillo. Good morning. Immediate belly rubs, huh? I know you're probably like, two days later, what happened yesterday? Let me fill you in. So day two of luxury van life was pretty awesome. It was a big driving day because I just wanted to get down to Seward. We stopped for gas, we fed Blue, we logged a lot of miles. We made a pit stop along the way so I could get some editing done and I got really excited over the rain. You guys, it's raining. The reason that's so exciting is because rain means it's above freezing. I don't think I've been in above freezing temperature in Alaska in months. Two months, maybe? So this is crazy. It's like the little things in life that bring you joy, you know? Rain. How exciting, Blue. Oh my gosh, I know. And listen, am I in the exact same outfit as yesterday? Maybe, but that's on the road life. Anyways. I found a Safeway that had a Starbucks, so I stopped and got a coffee. We have five hours before we can get to our actual camp in Seward because there's some sort of like street parking hours. I don't know. I'm gonna pass the time by editing because your girl has a lot of work to get done <laughs> for you. For you. And also, I think I get to steal Safeway's Wi Fi, so it really just works out for everybody. I made a Greek salad for dinner and then we went to find camp, which has been proven difficult in Alaska in the winter. Yikes. But luckily for us, we found the spot that we're currently in, but it's kind of like a good news, bad news situation. <laughs> I'm like 99% sure that we're stuck in this spot we found, but we found a spot, so. That is gonna be tomorrow Maria's problem. <laughs> so first order of business for today is to make coffee so I can get out of zombie mode and then see if we are in fact stuck, which I am 99.9% .9 sure. They did give us traction boards with this van, which is good. We'll see how we fare. I'm assuming we're gonna have to like dig ourselves out, call for help. Hopefully the traction boards work. Hopefully we're not stuck at all, but we'll see. Let's make coffee. Come on. Dang, parkour. <laughs> Talk about a winter wonderland. Ay, ay, ay. That's gonna be fun. Do you need water? Drink a water. No? Okay. Still drinking that North Pole St. Nickerdoodle coffee. I'm on my very last of it though, so that's sad. I haven't been able to find it in stores. <laughs> it's so good. Wait. Go ahead. So 
time to see if we're stuck or not. Wish me luck. It's so funny because when you look around, it looks like I'm just on a street, which I am, but it's like downward sloped in two wheel drive. I was already half stuck last night when I tried to readjust, so. Also, I love that I just paused before turning on the van because I'm so used to Poe and having to wait for glow plugs. All right, let's do this. All right, puppy. Cool, 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 cool. No shot, tires are just spinning. I know. This is, I know, I know, I know. It's okay, but we'll figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. It's crazy that it's just, that's what it's stuck on. Give it a whirl. Well, they worked. Heck yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> like butter. Freaking mountains. Are you kidding? That's crazy. How beautiful. Let's go explore. Are you joking? You're so cute in your boots, Teddy. Okay, be careful on the ice. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. in Seward is because I've been told by a million people to go to the Sea Life Center. Come on, come on. From what I understand, it's super cool. There's a lot of wildlife, so I figured I would pop in there really quick and get some pictures. There's like puffins and things I've never seen before. Blue has to stay in here, unfortunately, but I'm only probably going to be gone for like 20, 30 minutes. So yeah, glad we wore you out. I got to go see some puffins, Bubby. I'll be right back. All right, Bubby, you've got the heat on, you've got water. I'll be right back. Good for you. This one. Are you an Alaska resident? I am not. I think I'm the only one in here. Hi there, how are you? 
This is epic. Did you guys anything? Blue is sitting in the driver's seat. <laughs> Waiting. Yep, there he is. Oh, buddy. I always get a sticker for Poe when I go somewhere cool, and then I get a postcard to send to my nieces. So, we'll fill that out later. Oh, that is the right side of the vehicle. That is not in the driver's seat. Whoopsie. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Would you like to go potty? Come in. Good boy. Come on. Good job. Listen, that place is super cool. Highly, highly recommend if anybody is in Seward. That was awesome. Our last stop in Seward is to go to Resurrect Coffee and Art House, I think is what it's called. When my dad and brother were here back in September, we went to this little coffee house here in Seward and it was like the cutest place ever. And they had really good coffee, so I'm gonna try to get a cup before we move on because we have driving to do tonight. Story of my life. <laughs> the mountains aren't real here. There's just no way. But I need to move to Alaska. Stat. I want to move to Alaska. Stats. <laughs> if you guys see me buying a cabin here in the next couple of years, I don't want to hear it, okay? I might just become a full-blown Alaskan. I might have to. There's a famous quote somewhere, something about like, don't come to Alaska as a young man because nothing will compare to it the rest of your life. And I believe that is so true. I also just turned down the wrong road. <laughs> okay. Bronco Sport isn't a Bronco. <laughs> so, on my knee. 
Who's calling me? Pastor Dam. You guys, I think I've had enough caffeine already today. I feel super hyper. So this is gonna be a really fun drive. Okay, there is the art house. Okay. <laughs> I didn't miss it this time. Are we gonna get stuck in this little tiny bit of snow? Probably. Probably. Okay. Well, let's hope not. I'll be right back, I promise. I love you. Thank you. Okay, excuse me. Bubby, it's just a notebook. Excuse me. No. Look how cute this raven picture is. I had to get it for Poe. For Poe. You approve? Thanks. Phenomenal coffee. I hate the paper straw though. There has to be a better alternative to paper straws. Like they just disintegrate, you know? Anyways. Thoughts inside my head. Okay, let's hit the road. Well, I just tried to turn around and got myself stuck again. So, that's great. Well, so sick of this. to help me and they just got us out I could cry uh, sir if you by chance ever happen to see this thank you so much you just saved my entire night <laughs> okay this is what I was saying when I say it people in Alaska are so nice like the nicest people ever anybody stops to help you even if they just think you might be in trouble like which for me is all the time feel so relieved okay note to self you can't pull into any sort of parking lot that even has like an inch of snow so okay home sweet home seeing as we can't park anywhere that isn't plowed back at the uh, old stomping grounds. Hey kid, go potty. Take your time. <laughs> Bubby, go potty, go potty. Good job. I just got done filling out that postcard for my nieces. Look how cute this harbor seal is. Are you kidding me? It's just a sea puppy. So cute. Lucky for me, I can reach the Walmart Wi-Fi right now. And so I think Blue and I are just going to post up in bed and I'm going to watch Eamon and Beck because I have to. Like I'm in my van life era right now and they're like the ultimate van lifers ever. I love them. Even though they're not really van lifers anymore, still the best. So that's what we're going to do tonight. As far as tomorrow, we are heading into part two of our luxury van life series and we're going somewhere I've never been before. I'm excited to go there. Just hoping we don't get stuck. You know, hoping we left the getting stuck in this episode here. So stay tuned, I guess. <laughs> Bye.